What is going on guys and welcome back to Touchdowns to Home Runs. My name is Bernie. Thank you for joining us today on the Touchdowns to Home Runs show, the March Madness edition. I hope that your day is going absolutely fantastic. And this is what we love about March, the ability for any upset to happen, regardless of how good you think a team is. And we have the first major, major upset of the tournament. Number 15, Oral Roberts, has just defeated number 2, Ohio State, by a final score of 75 to 72. And I mean, this is a huge bracket busting game. Ohio State not only was obviously like a 99% favorite here and a 15 point favorite coming into this game, according to Vegas. Um, but this was a team that people had, you know, potentially winning the national championship. A lot of people in the final four, at least elite eight. And there's a lot of brackets, a lot of people that are not going to be happy because of this. But we have a lot to break down regarding this game. And starting with what Oral Roberts did good. And if you think that Oral Roberts wasn't legit, or particularly um, their, you know, just tremendous, tremendous player in Max Asmus, and he wasn't legit because they don't play in a tremendous conference, I think he proved you wrong. This is the best scorer in Division I basketball. He led scoring in Division I throughout the season. He did it against those, you know, not so great teams that they played throughout the entire year. Now he did it against a Big Ten and one of the top ten teams in the country in Ohio State. He was absolutely, absolutely sensational tonight. Oral Roberts, in terms of both him and O'Banner, were fantastic. And we'll break down the box score in just a second. But it was really a two-man show. But boy, did those two guys show up. In terms of Ohio State, I mean, I'm a Michigan fan. But... You know, I've respected Ohio State all year long, but I can't say that this one just doesn't excite me so, so much because it really does. But I mean, you look at this and I feel really unfortunate, particularly for Dwayne Washington Jr., who, you know, choked a bit towards the end of the game, but was sensational not only today, but in the Big Ten Conference Tournament Finals. Also, um, that Big Ten Conference game that they played against the Michigan Wolverines. Um... And then obviously just so much talent that he feels wasted now. Walker, Liddell, Suing. I mean, these are all guys who've been tremendous all season. But Ohio State really struggled um, to shoot the basketball today, particularly from three, particularly from the free throw line. That's what ultimately bit them. But you look at Oral Roberts, and I give him full credit. This is a team that, you know, on paper, they're built for the March Madness as much as a 15 seed can possibly be built for this tournament. They're the best free throw shooting team in the country. And as I said in my sleeper video, don't discredit these really good players, even though they come from the smaller conferences. But I have to say that I was not at all thinking about, you know, Ohio State to lose this game. So full credit to those guys over there. Let's flip over to the box score. We'll start with Ohio State. And again, didn't shoot well at all from three. Didn't shoot well from the free throw line two things that hurt them really throughout the entire game but really hurt them particularly late in this game um liddell led the way 23 points 14 rebounds five assists he was pretty good for the most part in the day he was pretty efficient overall um he struggled a bit in the second half i think um to let Oral roberts get back into that game but i mean he was the best player on the court today him and Dwayne washington jr um who put up 18 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, shot 7 of 21, and uh, played 43 minutes. Walker had 12 points, shot 4 of 8. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's the gist of it. It just came down to the percentages. Didn't shoot well from free throw. Didn't get those chunk points in terms of being able to shoot from behind the arc. Um, and Oral Roberts played well. Um, and unfortunately, you can't get the job done on most nights when you shoot like that. And it just bit them today. In terms of Oral Roberts, I mean, O'Banner led the way. 30 points, 11 rebounds. He was sensational. 7-7 um, seven seven from the line, 5-12 of 12 from 3. Him and um, Acemas both played all 45 minutes in this game. And I mean, that's just a credit to how talented those two players are. Um, and rightfully so, got honors in their own conference tournaments as well. And then Max Amos. I mean, how good was he today? Shot 10 of 24, but the big shots... 5 of 10 from 3, 29 points per game, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and I love this kid. I love small conference players, just like um, A. Smith. Um, you know, you look at other teams, Jason Preston, um, you know, that, that one kid from Toledo. These guys who don't really get attention, and that's what I love about the March Madness, is, you know, you're on a big stage, you're playing the, these big teams who get national attention, 
and you're people who, who don't normally get that attention. So this is your stage when you have this talent that, you know, Ace Miss clearly has to, you know, show people what you're really, really made of. And again, yeah, like he's going to be getting national attention now and really rightfully so. Let's quickly flip over to the team stats. Um, we'll just break down really quickly exactly why Ohio State lost. You look at it, Ohio State destroyed on the rebounds. Um, actually outshot Oral Roberts. They shot 43%. Oral Roberts only shot 36%. But it's the 22% from three, only five of 23, and nine of 18 from the line. Right? If they even shot decent from three or made a few more free throws, this is a completely different game and probably one that doesn't even go to overtime. But again, consistently, it's all the same problems that beat Ohio State. They're an inconsistent team who turns the ball over. And they did it again today. 16 turnovers to Oral Roberts, 6. But again, really credit to Oral Roberts. 6 turnovers is insane. Like, I know Ohio State isn't a tremendous defensive team. But again, they're a better defensive team than Oral Roberts has seen all year. And only 6 turnovers is sensational. Especially because they only run their offense through two players. But let's look ahead. Um, now, obviously, no Ohio State. Florida beat Virginia Tech in overtime. Another sensational game earlier on in the day. They beat them 75-70. to 70. Um, That's who Oral Roberts is going to be playing next up. And that's going to be another interesting matchup today. Florida looked good at times. They were led by Colin Castleton, the former Michigan man who transferred over to Florida, put up an insane double-double, shot well from the free throw line, was really, really good inside, and gave Florida that sort of boost of energy that they needed when they when they needed it. Um, but Oral Roberts obviously coming off a win against a more quality team, in my opinion, than Florida. Um, and I'm really excited. This is only the 10th time in history that a one or two seed um, has lost in the first round. So again, even though my bracket's busted, really going to be rooting for the underdogs um, in Oral Roberts and potentially a team like Ohio and all of these other teams, maybe Syracuse um, on that same side of the bracket, who are going to be moving on to the second round. I love a good underdog story. This is why I love March and the March Madness. Um, but if you guys did make it to this point in the video, thank you. I want to hear your thoughts on this game down in the comment section below. Um, let me know, what do you think of Ohio State? What did you see from Oral Roberts today? Let me know it all down in the comment section below. Also, we have a ton of March Madness content already on the channel, and we plan to be bringing even more content all the way through the rest of March and up until the first week of April when it's the national championship game. So if you're really into college basketball, want to see the March Madness, Watch some of the videos on touchdowns to home runs and do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button to make sure you do not miss a video and any coverage. But again, if you did make it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Go Blue!